Hey everyone, this lesson is on molluscum contagiosum. In this lesson, we're talking about what the condition is. We're also going to talk about risk factors, how this condition is transmitted, what are some of the clinical signs and symptoms. We're also going to talk about how we can diagnose it and how we can treat it. So molluscum contagiosum is a chronic localized skin infection with vesicular shaped papules that is caused by an infection with molluscum contagiosum virus. The molluscum contagiosum virus is a pox virus and there's actually four different genotypes of the virus and genotype one is the most common in the United States. This occurs worldwide. It is a worldwide phenomenon, but it occurs most often in childhood, but it can affect adolescents and adults. And it is one of the most common childhood skin conditions. Some of the risk factors for molluscum contagiosum are the following. One is immunodeficiency. So anything that causes immunodeficiency, like infection with HIV or steroid use, those types of things can lead to immunodeficiency and lead to a increased risk for becoming Becoming infected with this condition. Another one is being sexually active. This condition can essentially act like a sexually transmitted infection. So individuals who have this can pass it along through direct contact. And another associated risk factor is having other skin conditions and most commonly having atopic dermatitis or eczema. So having atopic dermatitis seems to be related to or seems to be associated with having an increased risk for getting molluscum contagiosum. When someone is infected, the incubation period for developing the papules is generally between two to six weeks. So how is the molluscum contagiosum virus transmitted? So transmission can occur through direct skin-to-skin -skin contact. So anything with direct contact can lead to a transmission of the virus from one infected individual to another. This includes sexually transmitted. Auto inoculation is also another way of transmitting this. So if an individual has the papules and they scratch them or dig at them, they can actually take those viruses and spread them around to other areas on their body. And another way that this virus can be transmitted is through fomites. So fomites are things like furniture, desks, chairs, those types of things. So the virus can lay dormant on those surfaces and through indirect contact an individual who's infected can touch a fomite and then another individual can touch that fomite and become infected. And the fourth way that this virus can be transmitted is through swimming pools. So swimming pools can be a vector for transmitting this virus. So if there's an individual with molluscum contagiosum and they're shedding the virus in their swimming in pools, another individual in the same pool can actually get the same infection. So those are the four ways that this virus can be transmitted. So when someone does become infected and they go through the incubation period, they can eventually develop dome-shaped papules that have a characteristic what we call belly button or umbilication. So if you were to take a close look at these papules or vesicles, you would see that there's a central indent and the central indent is essentially the belly button of the papule. So this is how we can determine or how we can distinguish molluscum contagiosum from other types of vesicular skin lesions. Generally speaking, the molluscum contagiosum papules are very small and they're generally two to five millimeters in diameter. And they are pearly white. So you can see here, pearly white, a little bit of white here, and they can be flesh colored as well. So there's some flesh colored here with some pearly white and they have that central belly button or umbilication. So that central indenting. In individuals who are immunosuppressed, they can get what we call giant molluscum. So giant papules. The papules can be larger in size and they can coalesce into larger plaques. So this is giant molluscum in someone who is immunosuppressed. In molluscum contagiosum, can be distributed anywhere on the body except for the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. So if you see these vesicular lesions on the palms of the hands or the soles of the feet, it is not molluscum contagiosum. And although it can occur anywhere, molluscum contagiosum typically occurs in skin folds. So the curl folds or the groin folds, the antecubital fossa, those types of places. With molluscum contagiosum, it's often asymptomatic, but puritis can occur. So these papules can become itchy, which contributes to the auto inoculation. And in some cases, we can get what is called molluscum dermatitis, where the papules become inflamed and erythematous. But what I really want you to take from this slide is that 
the Moschum snagiosum is dome-shaped papules with a belly button or umbilication. So if you take a look close up on one of the papules, it has a central indenting. That is Moschum contagiosum. So how do we make the diagnosis and how do we treat Moschum contagiosum? So the diagnosis of Moschum contagiosum is generally a clinical diagnosis. We diagnose it based on what we talked about previously. So we see a dome-shaped papule with a central umbilication. We can essentially diagnose Moschum contagiosum. We could also do histology on the samples with hematoxylin and eosin and we would see what is called molluscan bodies or henderson patterson bodies and that would confirm the diagnosis but again it's generally a clinical diagnosis treatment of muscum canadiosum is often conservative the infection is often self-limiting and will resolve spontaneously within two months in immunocompetent individuals however in individuals who are immunosuppressed the infection may last longer and it can even persist for years so three to five years in some cases so in cases where the infection is recurrent or is prolonged, we may use treatment. And some of the treatments include cryotherapy. So cryotherapy is one of the first line treatments for Moschum contagiosum and is essentially taking liquid nitrogen and applying the very cold liquid nitrogen to the papules. So it's essentially burning the skin with liquid nitrogen to destroy the Moschum contagiosum virus. Other treatments include cantharidin, curatage, so essentially scraping off the papules, and mix mod so this is a immunomodulator that actually induce the immune system to further destroy the muscum contagiosum virus and we can also use topical retinoids for treatment of muscum contagiosum as well so this is one skin condition that is very common if you want to learn more about other different types of skin conditions please check out my dermatology playlist for more lessons and if you haven't already please consider liking subscribing and clicking the notification bell to help support the channel and as always thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time